Today, I would like to show you how I use Notion to be consistent with my workout schedule. So before we get started, I just want to say working out is really important in my opinion. And um, if you can, if you can set us out that time, you really should. It's like the cheapest life insurance you can get. So I hope you uh, are working out and uh, ideally you should be working out consistently, like pick a schedule that works for you and then just stick to it. Let me show you, uh, here's my Notion dashboard, which is kind of messy. I should clean it up, but it's it's beautiful enough for me. You have the national Alpine area in Norway. So this gives me motivation. I, I feel good just looking at this image, like my heart starts warming up. And um, I have uh, some of the useful stuff like budgeting, priorities and um, life, workout, running. And then here's some YouTube stuff, which we can look at some other time. But if we go to the running, you can see I have a quote by one of my favorite coaches. Also have a cover image that can motivate me. So use the use the emojis and the cover images in Notion to um, help you stay uh, motivated because it's you have up and downs and it can be really challenging at times. So uh, if we look at my workout journal. You can see that um, I have a page called Yoga with Adriana, which is basically just a bunch of yoga videos. So I don't need to search on YouTube to find some. I can just click them on my iPad or iPhone and then just start watching. And I have a template for the week. Let's look at uh, this recent week, week 39. So I picked a custom image of this looks like Olesen, which is an uh, area in Norway. Beautiful. Just look at it. So beautiful. The emoji, this is a random emoji. I like using the random emoji from Notion just to spice up my weeks. And I like having a quote from some athlete. And this is from Susanne Vigna. So um, yeah, you don't understand this probably if you don't know Norwegian, but it says I'm going to do everything I can to become better. Here down, I have a bunch of toggle lists. So basically the day, this is Monday in Norwegian. And then I check off what I've done. So this is Tuesday yellow because I didn't manage to continue. So these emojis is something that I just use. You see that Sunday hasn't the emoji. That means I haven't gotten so far. So this way I just open this page and I can keep track of it. So actually I did yoga earlier today. So that's checked off, but I still have to do my speed workouts. Um, yeah, so that's how I do my workouts. I plan them out uh, usually on Sundays. So I'm going to make a new plan for next week. And that's based on the template. So what I would do then is I would go in here and review my template, which has this week. You can see Monday. You can see there's a lot of things here, right? So yeah, let's look through this. So I'll be doing some yoga, hopefully, sometime in the morning. I'm going to go for a 8K run approximately in the evening. Then I'm going to do lots of stairs workouts. And so that's basically various exercises and uh, jumping and so on. And then hopefully eight more Okay, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that this week. So depends on what my coach says is okay. So that's the Monday. But um, if we go back to the workout journal, let's say you wanted to create one. Well, you would just let's assume you have an empty page, right? My new workout uh, dreams for 2020, right? You would just go here and use the command template, right? And um, I like doing this way. So I'm going to show it, but you can do it some easier way also, which we can look at later. So the button is going to be a uh, new week. So I like thinking about it in with regards to weeks and let's create a new page. And we're just going to call this week X like that. And then um, create the toggle list uh, Monday, Tuesday, and it's actually Wednesday, not Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, if I can type Friday, and uh, Saturday, Sunday. So I don't know what your schedule is going to be, but you could, for example, say, let's say you work out on Mondays. You would, um, I, I prefer using check boxes because then you can check them off. Um, yeah, stair workouts for uh, 70 minutes, right? And there you have it. And I use the shortcuts in Notion, so I'll just close that up. And you can see the color, it's black there, right? That means that it has content inside of the body. These are grayed out, so they don't. So Tuesday, we're just going to say that's rest day. And uh, let's duplicate that and then drag that into Wednesday as well. And I like having emojis, so let's uh, have a sleep emoji here. Just add that. And we'll also just add that there. 
and here we'll say uh, we'll put up leg so you can see it says leg and then um, we'll do the same on Thursday we'll yeah, let's just copy this emoji leg day and yet another uh, beautiful session with stairs and let's have the check for 70 minutes close that up and you can see it's already getting spicy with the emoji so friday um let's just say long run for at least 50 minutes and let's add another emoji this guy here bam and we're gonna say saturday is rest day again we're gonna copy the emojis bam and sunday we're gonna say uh track workouts so and then we're gonna add let's add the run let's add this girl there and let's add this i know this this is not meant as fa fart it's uh, the emoji means wind like throwing so fast this person is fast there and then we have our schedule so if we go back you can see there's our template so if we click that it created a new page and then we could say week 40 and then we have our schedule so you see if week 40 there and as i mentioned i like adding emojis so i just click add icon this looks good let's add a cover the cover doesn't look that good so let's change the cover and i like picking local places in norway so i'm just gonna write uh let's say molde for example it's probably beautiful uh yeah that, that didn't look so good uh let's try um stavanger maybe you can find a nicer picture there, this looks nice by Alexi there. Thanks Alexi for making the picture on, on Splash available. Yeah, so now we have this nice image, hopefully insp inspires us. So you can see that's week 40. And if you wanted, you just click that again, and then you can create another week. So let's say you wanted to plan week 41. I usually only plan one week at a time because um, there's just, just too much stuff can happen between a week. So it's unpredictable. I don't want to plan too far into the, with regards to the workouts, like it's, if you're doing some periodization where you have one week is easy, you could, um, some people I know do uh, that, or I've heard about it from people. So that's a funny emoji. I don't like this cover. Let's change the cover. Um, uh, let's find, what are we gonna search for? We need a good, um, let's search for Trondheim. See if we can find a nice image there. Yeah, I kinda like, I kinda like this one, this one looks nice. Yeah, so um, if you do periodization where you have one week is normal training and then another week is harder, then you could go in here and yeah, you could just edit it, right? But if I prefer my flow is like, I edit the template on Sundays, right? Um, not every Sunday, but I try to do it on Sundays. Then I would go through review and you can always remember it's the template by the hashtag here. Or if you prefer, you could use a unique name like this template so you actually know that when you go into the gear icon there and then click the template. So yeah, uh, that's how I do my workout schedule. And uh, again, remember to use emojis, let them inspire you to challenge your limits and uh, happy uh, working out. Thanks.